What you guys going to have a rogue removal video here for you. This one's called Win 7 Security Cleaner Pro. If you've got Windows XP, it'd be called Win XP Security Cleaner Pro, and the same thing for Vista. Now, these rogues basically what they do is they render the system unusable, so you can't use it, and they're trying to push you into paying for a product that doesn't do anything. You can see it's saying it's detected loads of infections and many people fall for it uh, but it is a scam okay what they're trying to do is lure you to uh, the actual registration page which is this page and uh, try to make you pay for it to remove all them infections from the system don't pay for it because it is a scam okay so what we're going to do is remove it from the system now if the best way to do these really is in safe mode with networking this doesn't run in safe mode with networking and uh, the way to do that is by looking at the instructions on the screen right now and then you can run Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, TDSS Killer and all them tools like that to remove it okay now you can follow the procedure that I'm doing here from the desktop but you can do that in safe mode with networking okay let's say you want to register the product well, we can do that also by clicking on manual activation and the registration keys for these are on the screen right now this should register the product and what it will do is allow you to remove it and allow you to run scans on the system without going into safe mode networking so you've got plenty of options there open to you okay now it's not piracy or anything like that because these are uh, viruses and uh, this is how you remove them okay so with that said and done, what we're going to do here is remove this from the desktop just for a change. Now you can see it's uh, attacked the actual uh, action center here. It's changed that and turned all the protection off. So uh, what we're going to do here is, but you can see it blocks all your processes. You can't use them. Okay, you can see it's blocked my task manager there. And also we'll try command prompt and you can see it will block command prompt and the internet. Okay. You do get these little messages popping up in the bottom right, just ignore them. So we're going to go down to our ROM box here and type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then download dot bleeping computer dot com and then forward slash Grindler and then forward slash Arkill dot com do that and what will happen is it will allow you to download the actual um, file as you can see so I'm going to save this to my desktop so once we've done that we can then close off that window and we should have our, our kill on our desktop now and this will kill the process and then you can run your programs so let's just run this and as you can see it's already killed the process okay so there we go we are now ready to to go we've killed that off so now we've got that gone we can now run Malwarebytes so we need to get Malwarebytes um, so I'm just going to quickly download that So we get the free download here. You would just follow the same process in Safe Mobile Networking if that's the way you've chose. I'm going to run the installation straight off the bat here. Okay, so we're going to update and launch that at the same time it's doing a quick update there and once we've got that done what we're going to do is go to perform a quick scan so that scans nearly finished now okay so I'm going to show the results 
And we've got a back door here. As you can see, this is the one that's used. It's going to remove that. Wants us to restart. I'm going to do that in a second. Just going to empty the recycle bin there. What I want to do before I do that is run Hitman Pro. I'm just going to run through this. Okay, it's found something here. There looks a little bit like zero access on the system. So it's dropped zero access down on the system with it by the looks of it. So we'll let uh, Hitman Pro deal with that. I'm going to go next. Just going to activate this. Now these are free tools to use to remove these types of infections. Okay, so I'm going to go next here. And we need to reboot here on this one before we continue. So let this do its thing here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is do a quick reboot. Now Hitman Pro is doing its thing. Okay, so that's now done and dealt with. I'm just going to quickly uh, have a look at the uh, mini toolbox here by Farbar. I'm going to flush the DNS, also reset IE proxy settings. Okay, so what we want to do next is uh, list contents of the uh, host file here. Click OK. So now we can see that's okay. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to run an actual scan here with FSS. And this is a Farbar's service scanner and it's going to tell us um, whether these have been tampered with and deleted. And the reason for that is because um, the actual zero axis uh, damages these or deletes them and as you can see here we have got checking start type attention and you can see it's unable to open this area the BFE MPSSVC you can go right through here and you'll see WSC SVC these are registry keys that have been uh, removed by that. So what we're going to do here is have a look at some of these ones that I've got here. So I've got some here. I'm going to undo these. Just going to drag these onto my desktop here. And these are the actual files that it's going to repair the missing files okay so we're going to run these on the system so we're going to run the first one and the second one shared access and the Windows Defender and the WSC SVC we're going to run this one and also this one here oh 
that's the wrong one so we're just going to quickly run this one okay so they're now run and what we need to do now is again check for these areas to make sure that they've been fixed may need a reboot but we'll try first okay you can see the services now are all running okay here everything's looking good there's one more thing here that we need to look at which I can see HPH LPC uh, LP SVC and we can sort that out in a second okay so what we're going to do next here is uh, I'm going to open up this and run this tool and see if we can get that repaired so I'm going to come up to start repairs here and then click on start once I create a restore point I advise you to do that just going to do a quick registry back up there once we've done this we'll be able to run the reset permissions okay so we've done that so now we can go start and you can see here reset file permissions reset registry permissions we can do all this sort of stuff here so I'm just going to run these remove temp files okay so what we're going to do here is run this set um, tools here to repair these areas so I'm just going to quickly start this and we'll just let this run So we're coming to the end here now, just nearly finished these off. And you don't have to do all of these, you just pick what you like really. We'll just run through these, it won't hurt. And that's those now done. Once the restart, so I'm going to say yes. going to quickly reboot so we'll just let this load up and then we'll run another test okay so that's the reboot now done so let's run our test on FSS and see if that's fixed our issue it should have uh, fixed that issue now I'm going to run a scan here and we'll see if that's fixed the problem and all looking good there and it's all looking pretty good and I think that's a winner we've got that fixed so that's good so everything's fixed and everything's running okay so that's a good job done so I think uh, I think that's going to be about it for this video I think we've uh, removed everything you can run some more scans if you wish um, with uh, ESET online scanner and stuff like that which I would advise you to do until you're completely sure that everything has been removed um, but I think we're going to call this one done so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos guys hit that subscribe button to show your support by rating and favouriting all my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. Uh, sorry about it being a bit long winded but it was a pretty uh, hefty infection there compared to just having a rogue on there but sometimes that's the way it rolls you know so anyway I hope you enjoyed it have a great weekend and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.